What's going on, muchachos? Long time no vlog. Um, it's two o'clock. Holy crap, it's 2.01. How? Like, do you guys ever have that where like the day just like goes, by? I'm still in pajamas. Like the day just like flies by. Holy shiz. Um, and I was like doing really good. Like I just got my vlog live and I was done editing like around 10.30, I think, 11. But I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't know. I'm like trying to think like how did, I mean, I wasn't sitting here the whole time. Like I was like helping Enam get his lunch ready and getting him out, the fish tank, the fish tank. Um, You know, like obviously stuff with Alondra, but like, good Lord, I, I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm sorry. I'm like shocked right now because I'd like, that literally totally threw me off. I had no idea it was 2 o'clock. I probably thought it was like 12, 12.30. Like, I don't know. That really threw me off right now. Um, but anyways, so today is Tuesday. I probably picked the worst day to vlog because literally nothing is going to happen. But I have not vlogged since Thursday. Like, I just uh, uploaded the like tackling my to-do list video. I really like doing those, so I hope you guys are liking seeing those. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's like my best take on clean with me videos because um, I don't clean my whole house in one day unless like a visitor is coming or something. I like to do um, like one thing every day type of thing. Um, so, anyways, uh, I don't know. I just kind of like like those, especially when like. Not a lot's happening. I don't know. So, anyways, so I do have a to-do list today, but it's really not. It's really not much. Um, and I've been like kind of taking it easy. So I guess let's rewind. Let me look at my planner. So if you watch that vlog, you know everything that happened on Thursday. Friday, I will say I was like on my A game and I tackled that to-do list because on the end of that vlog, I was like saying everything I wanted to get done. For Friday and so I did and I did that Ikea return I even bought two things at Ikea um, really cute for Alondra's room and actually I should add that to my to-do list today I really want to like print pictures for her um, her collage photo frame that I got at Ikea a really good price but I think I'm gonna have to return one other thing I could probably show you guys not I probably could I can show you um, so yeah Friday honestly I was like on top of my game getting everything done saturday we went to hawaiian falls and also saturday like i don't know what's going on i have it on my list for today i don't know if i'm gonna do it but like doing like a virtual like teledoc thing um i feel like my voice sound actually i think my voice sounds better does it still sound really deep i don't know like earlier it was sounding like really deep and kind of like crackly but i think it sounds better now maybe not i don't know but like my tonsil um, so it's like, it's only on my left side. Like if I push it in, I feel like stuff is like cracking inside. Like, I don't know, like I'm popping bubbles or something. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm having like the hardest time explain the sensation. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like it's not bothering me. I can feel it. Like I feel like it feels irritated if that makes sense like when i drink something cold i can feel like it's irritated so like i want to drink like warm or like i don't know room temperature stuff so like i'm not putting ice in my water and i feel like if i eat something sharp like chips like i've been eating a lot of chips the past couple of days because i feel like when i swallow it's itching that for me and like the itching like itching sensation feels good I don't know how to explain it though, but like I don't, I don't have a headache, I don't have a fever, I don't have a runny nose, I don't have a sore throat. It's literally just this tonsil. It just feels irritated. But when I yawn, it hurts like, like a mother. Like when I yawn, it hurts so freaking bad. And I only really yawn in the morning and at night, like when I first wake up and when I'm like ready to go to bed. But yesterday, I feel like was the most it was feeling irritated. Um, but today it doesn't feel as irritated. So I don't know. Last night when I went to bed, I was like telling you, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to do the virtual doctor thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it because like, I feel like it felt the most irritated. Like yesterday was like the most it was bothering me, but today it's not. So now I'm like, I don't even know if I should do the virtual doctor visit. And I haven't yawned since I woke up this morning. So I don't know if it still is even going to hurt. 
So, I mean, the good thing with a virtual visit, I think it's like a 24 hour thing. So I can just do it whenever, I guess. So I'm gonna wait and see if I yawn and see what happens. Um, but yeah, so I woke up on Hawaiian Falls and it was like hurting, like kind of bothering me. So I put like Melaleuca like inside and then I took Dayquil because, you know, just to see if that would help. And then I like totally felt fine like the whole day. So I was like, ah, maybe it's nothing. But then I noticed it on Sunday um, and then I noticed it really noticed it on Monday and like honestly Sunday I just like spent the whole day like in bed I was just exhausted but I don't think it had anything to do with my tonsil it was just Saturday was a long night like we were at Hawaiian Falls which is a water park and we were there from like 10 30 to about 3 34 and then after that um it was our neighbor friends it was his birthday his dirty 30 so we went over to his house at night and we had like a game night and chilled and celebrated um, so like Saturday was packed and like, you know, when you're outside all day in the sun, like it just really makes you exhausted. So literally Sunday, we like slipped into like 930 and Alondra and I, cause unfortunately, you know, I've had to go to work, but Alondra and I were literally just like in bed watching TV being lazy all day. So, um, that was Sunday. And then honestly yesterday, uh, just, I, I mailed off my Scentsy Happy Mail that I was working on on Thursday. So, um, if you're a Scentsy customer of mine, um, that'll be coming in the mail. I no longer had swim lessons, and I picked up a grocery order, and that was it. So, um, you guys really haven't missed, like, too, too much. Um, but I guess just to, like, kind of fill in the gaps there since I haven't vlogged at all. And I know I typically vlog every weekend. And, um, this weekend, I don't know, I just was... Not feeling it, I guess. So I've had a little bit of a break, which is nice, but I also feel bad taking breaks. But I don't know. I feel like, too, my upload schedule is pretty much, like, Monday through Friday and then, like, Saturday, Sunday, there's rarely a video. But anyways, um, so, yeah, if today's vlog is boring, I'm apologizing now. Um, but, oh, yeah, also, too, yesterday, we had another casualty of a fish, and it was Mickey. And if you guys remember, Mickey was um, not doing well. Um, he was swimming like sideways. We're pretty sure he had swim bladders disease. I fed him the peas, like, but that still didn't really help. And yeah, I mean, he wasn't acting like that until we got the sailfin and the sailfin like attacked him. So Alondra's really upset. Um, he died last night and she keeps like blaming the sailfin um but then like she also is like well at least he's not in pain anymore and he's not hurting anymore which just like breaks my heart you know because she's so sad um and he was like one of the ogs you know he was the first fish that we got one of them anyways and now literally the only original fish that we have is daisy and she was the tiniest one we got so she's a tough bitch um but anyway so i guess we'll just have to See what happens. We're still dealing with the ammonia in the tank. Um, I have no idea. We are testing it every day, and so it's still at a one, and we want it at zero. And we've literally, ever since we started this, um, it's been at a one. It has not gone down. However, now we have nitrates. I'm sorry I'm talking about fish, but I haven't talked about fish in a while, okay? And a couple of you commented that you like the fish talk, so... Here you go for those that like my fish talk. Um, but anyways, so uh, we do have nitrates and nitrates is good because ammonia will eventually turn into nitrites and then that will eventually turn into nitrates and nitrates is the good stuff. So we actually have nitrates now, which is good. Um, but this damn ammonia, y'all, I, I don't know. Like we're not feeding the fish because they say not to feed the fish because fish our food brings in ammonia and when the fish poop that's also more ammonia so i don't know and we've done two water changes so we're gonna wait it out and see what happens um i mean just keep adding in all of like the like medicine to try to help get rid of the ammonia but i'm like on all these fish groups and they were like some people are saying to just keep doing what we're doing like do it for a week um and then after a week do another water change but then there's some people are saying like you should do a water change every single day so i don't know i think we're gonna wait the week and then 
if the ammonia is not going down, we'll do the water change every day, but damn, every day. I don't know. It's getting really frustrating, and now the fact that another fish died, like Mickey, um, which I will say, though, like, over the past couple of days, he was looking worse to me, but I was like, eh, maybe it's just in my head, but obviously he was, because he did pass, but I just really hope no other fish pass away, and I mean, he wasn't a healthy fish, obviously, so I mean, I guess it makes sense. And Daisy, if you guys remember, she was doing the like, the itching, the flashing, and she hasn't done that um, in a couple of days. Like we have not seen her do it at all. So I feel like she's getting better and on the up and up. So I feel like that is progress, but I don't know you guys, these fish like, and it feels like quite ridiculous too. Like has, I don't know, like I feel like I don't know what the word is. I don't want to say stupid because that feels like really harsh to be like, I'm stupid. But it just literally blows my mind that we're having this many issues with our fish. And Inam and I, we researched so much to make sure we wouldn't have any issues. We followed all like the rules, like what to do. And our tank was good, you know, before we bought the fish because we got our water tested and we were not going to buy fish if something was wrong with our water. So... I don't know what happened. Like obviously once adding in the fish, things went awry from there. But anyways, I'm gonna try to like not ramble anymore about the fish, but it's just still frustrating, still an ongoing process. Um, but anyways, ooh, that was my stomach growling something kind of fierce. Well, it's after two o'clock. That would make sense why I would be hungry. Did I even eat breakfast today? I did not. I have not had breakfast. Wow, I've only had coffee. Speaking of coffee, I feel like this happens. I go a couple of days without vlogging and I literally just like vomit like all over you guys and just like, cause I just like have so much to say. But um, the coffee creamer that we bought from Costco, do not do it. And I'm actually really sad cause I picked up a, I did a Kroger grocery pickup um, yesterday and I meant to add it to the like pickup list or my grocery list and I totally forgot But we are going back to the brand picnic. That is our tried and true. This new creamer we got is So gross usually if I don't like the way something tastes I will suck it up and I will you know force especially if like we bought it I will force myself to like eat it even like Edom can't he can't force himself to eat something or drink something if he doesn't like it I will, I would say like nine out of 10 times I can force myself. There is the rare times where I have not been able to do it. But this creamer, you guys, is, let me show you guys in case. And yeah. How do you know you've not tried it? So this is the creamer here. It is called Mula. I don't, it's not gonna focus. But yeah, good. Look at you reading. Oh, I still can't get over like her reading. Like it's so awesome. But I don't know if it's because it's plant-based. I don't know, but you guys, it's it's not the business. And then I was thinking too, well maybe it's the coconut cream, but the oat milk that we tried from this brand, it was way better than this, and it was coconut cream. And Edom likes coconut. There's still, like this is still the first, um, what do you there's call it? The first left. bottle. Yeah, there is a little bit left, but it's been bad. And Edom and I love coffee, but we've not been loving coffee with that. So, I don't know. We What's up, baby? We got off her beer ticket, so we gave her that T word. Oh, we did, huh? She was a good girl yeah. and all her food. Guys, when you say it, she'll get very excited, and like she'll be like waiting at the garage door for it. <laughs> yeah, so we can't say the T word. Yeah. Yeah. Wiggles has been getting over her food. Oh, what, did I say your name? Yeah. Good morning. Actually, no, it's not good morning. Good afternoon. I know, except Wiggles, you know, she just likes to sleep all day. Hi, Mama. you're such a good girl eating all your food. But yeah, Wiggles gets over her food. Easily. So easily, like she will love her dog food and, and she'll one. eat it and yeah, and then out of the blue one day, she will just stop eating it and it's like, seriously? So she's been like that with her, I just realized the fan is off and the light is off, but the light switch is on. Um, I, I so, turned off 
Oh, that was you? Oh, okay, okay, no worries, baby. So it's been a struggle getting her to eat and I've been like buying like wet food, which I never buy wet food. Um, and, and yeah, she does love it. I mean, what dog doesn't like wet food? But I've been buying wet food just to like supplement into her dry food so she'll start eating it again. But today she actually ate all of her dry food without any wet food in it. So I was like, Yay, good girl. So hopefully that's good. And then obviously, once I'm like done with this dry food that we have, I will buy a new brand of dog food. So comment down below, what dog food do you guys feed your dogs? I was thinking the brand From, F-R-O-M-M. -M. I heard that was a good one. And What's up, baby? And comment down below, you think Legos is super duper cute. Oh, she is super duper cute. Yeah, so comment down below if you guys think it's that too. So there's a fish update and I guess a Wiggles update for you guys. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed and I'm gonna get out of pajamas because well, it's probably like way later after two now. And then I'm gonna go and fix myself some lunch because I'm hungry. and got dressed. I mean, they're on lazy clothes, but you know, <laughs> it's better than pajamas. And I actually just got done filming my July monthly plan with me, which is gonna go up before this video. This is probably gonna go up Thursday. The monthly plan with me is gonna go up tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so a little sneak peek for y'all. If you guys are into my planner videos, so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, it's funny, I thought July was gonna be a slow month, like not a lot going on. But like looking at it, I'm like, oh, there's kind of a lot. But I don't know why, I just feel like there's also not a lot. I don't know. But anyways, so I'm glad that I got that done and filmed. Um, and now honestly, like, I don't know, I'm trying to order Alondra's dance pictures, but I'm having the hardest time deciding between her photos because they're so dang cute. Um, I'm having a hard time choosing between two of them. Like I know my favorite for, uh, where did it go? So this one is my favorite for blue suede shoes. I think like, oh no, I'm sorry, it's this one. Hello. Oh, I gotta double check my cart. I might've put this one in the cart on accident. This one is my favorite for blue suede shoes. I just think it's so cute. I like being able to see like the full costume. I like her pose. Um, but for Aladdin, I can't decide between this one here, which I think is so cute because it's definitely like an Aladdin pose, or this one. Like, I just really love both. And I mean, yeah, I can buy both, but it's $30 a picture. Yeah, you guys, $30 for one digital picture. I just don't want to spend $90. And also, like, 
you guys see my house. I don't technically like put pictures everywhere. I just think like one of each is just perfect. So I'm trying to decide between those two. Um, so I'm waiting to see what Edom says. However, I know he's going to tell me, um, you know, like, oh, pick whatever one you like. And well, he's first of all, he's going to say oh, they're both perfect. So buy them both. But when I tell him it's $30 a picture, he's going to be like, OK, well, you just pick whatever. So I don't know. I guess we'll see um, which one I pick. Oh, I was asking my friend, too, because her daughter's in the same Aladdin class with Alondra, our neighbor friends. They're also dance friends. She likes the one with the hands up the most. She's like, they're both super cute, but like the hands up the most because it looks like a, a genie thing is super cute. So um, I think that's honestly the one that I'm going to pick because I just think it's really cute. I just want to know what Edom says though. And then I will pick those out. Okay, oh no, I do. I have the right pose in my cart. I was like, hold up, if I picked the wrong one. That would be annoying. So yeah, that's really all I've been doing up to this point. I still haven't done the teledoc thing. I'm still like waiting to see until I yawn. <laughs> I know that might sound crazy, but like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I hate to like get it like checked out if it's nothing, but I'm sure people are gonna be like, oh, well it's best to get it checked out and have it be nothing versus it be something serious. I don't know you guys, I'm a baby. Um, So. I'll wait and see on and like I said it's 24 hours so like if at nighttime I'm like ooh no yeah it still really hurts I might do it at night or maybe tomorrow I don't know you, you guys can tell I'm really trying to push it off um but anyway so yeah honestly the only thing I really have on my list is buy the dance pictures teledoc question mark put clothes away which you guys probably saw those two huge baskets of clothes so I definitely need to do that cook dinner and mop. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle putting those clothes away and then probably after that I'll start dinner just that way it is cooked. I mean we did have a late lunch so it's not like I'm starving right now to like eat. So I'm gonna like try to be productive even though I'm kind of like I don't want to. I'm gonna force myself to be productive. So anyways let's go ahead and tackle these clothes. And while I put clothes away, I'm gonna go ahead and watch some Discovery Plus. I love Discovery Plus. Um, Seeking Sister Wife, by the way, they have not aired an episode since June 8th, and that was not the season finale. So if anybody has any insight on that show, comment down below and let me know if you need a good reality trash show to watch. Check that one out. But I <laughs> like murder, um, I'm sure you guys know. So I've been watching A Time to Kill. I've been watching Murder in the Heartland. I think I finished all of that already. And I've been watching, honestly, I've been I love um, Lieutenant Joe Kenda. He's really awesome. But anyways, I think I'm gonna watch the first 48. But yeah, so nothing like a little true crime murder to get me through all these clothes. So voiceover Brittany is back coming at you. I thought it would be kind of fun instead of you guys just sitting here watching me full clothes and listening to music um, that maybe you guys would want to hear about what I was watching. So I was watching the first 48. I made the mistake of clicking on season one, episode one, uh, and I didn't realize they had 17 seasons on Discovery Plus. So go with season 17 because this was hella old, like the quality and everything, but I still enjoyed it. So um, there was two murders on the first 48. And if you've never watched that show, it's basically investigators got 48 hours to try to solve the crime. So there was two murders. Unfortunately, with one of the cases, they were not able to solve the murder. But basically, um, a, the boyfriend walked in and found his girlfriend dead on the floor. They were able to rule him out. I know what y'all are already thinking. It was him. Um, but in the house, it was her, her boyfriend and her son and they're grown. Like, I don't know. I think she's like in her fifties. Um, but they ruled out the boyfriend and the son, but they were never to figure out. Um, it's still unsolved. I, I Googled it and it's still unsolved. Um, they never figured out who ended up murdering her. They believe it was a robbery cause she would sell jewelry and like all of her jewelry was gone and the like house was ransacked. So they believe it was a robbery. Um, but unfortunately, that is still unsolved. Um, with the other case in the show, they were able to solve it, so that is good. Um, but basically, it was in Miami, and it was gang-related, and a guy was murdered. And so they were trying to, you know, figure out 
who murdered him, obviously, and it was really hard for them to get anybody to talk because, you know, with gangs and stuff, you know, nobody wants to be a rat, you know, snitches get stitches, you know what I'm saying? So, um, anyways, they were, you know, with informants and stuff, they were able to call over, like, the gang unit, and they were able to find out who did it, you know, and break it down, and the lady, actually, the homicide, um, investigator she used to be a patrol officer and so she used to patrol those streets and so somebody that you know somebody fingered and pointed out like oh he was there he was involved she like knows him from when she did patrol so she has like a good rapport with him even though he isn't a gang and stuff um so she was able to talk to him and basically um able to get the whole story so I guess this one guy that ended up getting murdered had like ripped them off um for drugs and so they had saw him, him and another guy had saw him and they were like, oh, you know what? We're going to go and we're going to confront him since he ripped us off with drugs. So the one guy, the guy that she knew, I guess he ended up staying in the car. Um, but the other guy went, his name was Little Mike. He went up to, um, you know, the, the guy that got murdered and confronted him. And I guess he pulled out a gun to scare him. And the gun accidentally went off. So I don't know if you guys want to believe that it accidentally went off or, you know, he was like, no, nah, I'm really going to shoot him. But um, anyways, he ended up getting charged with second degree murder. Little Mike, the other guy um, that was there that, you know, just happened to be there and that happened that, you know, she knew him. Uh, he got no charges against him. Um, but anyways, yeah. So those were the two cases that I watched. I had to like say this all very quickly and not give a lot of details, but let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Clothes are done and put away. Kind of. I still need to hang up the clothes and put those away. Right now they're just on the dresser. But you know what? We got to cook dinner. It is 5.30. So I want to go ahead and get dinner started. Tonight I am making Marry Me Chicken, which is a recipe I found from a YouTuber, um, Kristen Casper. I've mentioned her before. I love her channel. I will link her down below if I don't forget. If I do, someone remind me. But I really like her channel and definitely recommend. I bet you guys will probably like her too. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this meal. I will link it. Um, I got it off of her, but it is on Pinterest. So I will link the recipe in the description box as well. I've made it before and like showed you guys how I've made it. I've made it two other times. It'll be my third time making it. And it is seriously so, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead, get to cooking, and once it's done, I will show you guys the yummy, yummy goodness. Alrighty, dinner is served so good. So I made Marry Me Chicken. Um, Alondra's having it too with the mashed potatoes. Put some chicken in your mashed potatoes. And, and just eat it up. Queen. She is the mashed potato queen. She tastes my mashed potatoes and she tells me what I need to put in it to make it taste perfect. Usually I say more sour cream. Yeah. Every time I say some more sour cream, more sour cream, because the sour cream gives them more flavor. That's right. And you also told me I, need, I needed more salt, right? Yeah. And I needed more. I think I said yes, salt. Yeah. So it's perfect now? Mm hmm. Okay, perfect. And so I'm having that again. I will link it. It's on my Pinterest. It's so good though. Like the sauce and everything. Oh, chef's kiss. And then I, like I am obsessed. You just ate some? Show me how. Oh, yummy, yummy, baby. And then this bread, I get it at Kroger. It's the um, Cheesecake good. Factory bread. Oh my God, you guys. It's so good. I'm obsessed. And I've been eating Have it like crazy lately. Mine? Yeah, I know. I'm surprised you didn't want any. I guess I don't want to go heavy because we're going to the park. Yeah, after dinner we're going to go to the park. And so Alondra said she doesn't want to have too heavy of a belly. So she said no to the bread, which I am shooketh. But I'm proud of you. Thank you. You're I welcome. Yeah, I bet. Let's, let, let's not do that. But all right, anyways, enough talking. Dinner is done and oh my God, it was so good. I'm wishing I would have done six chicken thighs instead of four. Because I had one, Alondra had one, and then the two, I already have like Edom's lunch ready to go for tomorrow. And so that's all the chicken thighs. So I wish I would have done six, because then I would have had leftovers for tomorrow, because it's so, so good. And I've never had sun-dried tomatoes before until this recipe, and I'm like low-key obsessed. But it is 7.05, and we are headed to the park right now. I promised Alondra I would take her to the park 
and it's like perfect too because it doesn't get dark out here until like 8 30 so it's nice that we can go later in the night when it's like a little bit cooler cooler is being like 90 degrees i don't even know alexa what's the temperature right now it's 85 degrees Fahrenheit. 85 degrees tonight heck yeah the low of 72 degrees by the way oh i love it like. no thank you okay that's enough all right alexa stop stop no god what doesn't she get so anyways i'm gonna take her to the park and then we're actually gonna go with our neighbor friend they're actually walking over to our house right now probably will be here like any second so I'm gonna leave you guys here. We're gonna go have some girl time, play at the park. So I will just see you guys friend. with your best friend, I know. So I will just see you guys once we get back. We are home from the park. My hair is looking cray. What is new though? We are actually at the park for like a good hour and a half. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just end the vlog here because let's be honest, nothing else is going to happen tonight or Nothing should happen. Hola. Hi, baby. Hola. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed yeah. the vlog. Um, I know it was kind of like boring, but it's just kind of some like of a typical guys day like for me. Boring videos. Yeah, some of you guys don't mind, but I don't know. Wait, I feel like a lot uh, of my days are uh, kind of boring. Tall. Yeah, huh? My mommy's on her knees. You're almost as tall as me. It's crazy. It's just that, like, you're just a... It, it, just like a little bit, huh? Well, am I taller? I wonder if you're gonna be taller than me one day. That would be crazy. <laughs> I would not like that. You wouldn't like that? You wanna be shorter than me? Okay. I Could always want you to be short. No, I always want you to be a baby. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's, today's vlog. vlog. Please, Please give it a thumbs up. up. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe, to subscribe. and we'll see you in the next video. video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.